1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines The first meeting of the 9th National Finance Commission is in progress to review recommendations for better distribution of natural, national resources. The Supreme Court, while issuing the written judgment, in the Fazabad sit and sue motor case has directed for action against those who damaged or destroyed properties. The Afghan president says any peace deal between the Taliban and the United States cannot be finalized without involving his government as the decision maker. China has rejected a report of the US Trade Representative Office regarding the World Trade Organization's compliance. And now the news in detail. The first meeting of the reconstituted 9th National Finance Commission with the Finance Minister Asad Umar in the chair is in progress in Islamabad. The Federal Finance Secretary gave a detailed presentation to the participants on fiscal position of the country, while the provincial representatives also gave presentations on financial position of their provinces. The meeting is reviewing various recommendations for better distribution of national resources under the new NFC award. The last National Finance Commission award was signed in December 2009 that drastically increased the provincial share from the divisible pool. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has directed to proceed against and hold accountable those who obstructed people's right to use roads and damaged or destroyed properties during the 2017 Fazabad sit-in. The directions were given by a two-member bench of the Apex Court, comprising Mr. Justice Qazi Faiz Isa and Mr. Justice Mushir Alam, while announcing the judgment in the Suomoto case of Fazabad sit-in. The written judgment said the persons said that the person issuing verdict of patwa, which harms another or puts another in harm's way, must be criminally prosecuted. The court directed the intelligence agencies to monitor activities of all those who threaten the territorial integrity of the country and all those who undermine the security of the people and the state by resorting to or inciting violence. The judgment further states that every citizen and political party has the right to assemble and protest provided such assembly and protest is peaceful and complies with the law imposing reasonable restrictions in the interest of public order. The Minister of State for Revenue, Mohammad Hamad Azhar, has asked the Federal Board of Revenue to focus on the simplification of tax collection system and new laws should be framed in this regard. He was addressing a three-day international conference on taxation 2019 at the Federal Board of Revenue in Lahore today. Later talking to the media, he said we will seek a special tax relief from the parliament for the small retailers. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has summoned the session of the National Assembly on the 18th of this month at 4 p.m. Eleven people were killed and six others injured in a collision between two vehicles on the Indus Highway near Karak today. According to the Karak police, the injured have been shifted to the district headquarters hospital Karak. In occupied Kashmir, the chairman Tehrike Hurriyat Jammu in Kashmir, Mohammad Ashraf Sarai, says India's military might will never succeed to suppress the Kashmiris' ongoing struggle for securing their inalienable right to self determination. In a statement in Srinagar, he said the people of Kashmir are not scared and they cannot be cowed down by the threats of India. Mohammad Ashraf Sarai said linking Kashmir dispute with development is a well-planned move by India to divert the attention of the world community from the real ground situation of gross human rights violations and atrocities against the Kashmiris. The Afghan president Ashraf Ghani says any peace deal between the Taliban and the United States cannot be finalized without involving his government as the decision maker. In an interview in Kabul, he said no power in the country can dissolve the government. He also expressed readiness to stand and defend the country.
China has rejected a report of the U.S. Trade Representative Office regarding the World Trade Organization compliance. Chinese Commerce Ministry in a statement said China firmly supports the multilateral trading system and participates in the reform of the WTO and clearly opposes unilateralism and protectionism. Saudi Arabia has launched the first satellite for communications from the Guyana Space Center. The satellite aims at enabling space communications at the ultra-fast speeds as part of the national strategic plan to fulfill the kingdom's domestic requirements. And finally, cricket, the third and last T20 match between Pakistan and South Africa will be played at Centurion today. The match will start at 2100 hours Pakistan standard time. South Africa has an unassailable lead in the three-match series by 2-0. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, go on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.